Hi, in this video, we are going to learn about structural modeling and stress analysis of torsion box of wing. First, take static structural. Right click on geometry. Click on new designer modeler geometry. Take XY plane. Take the units in millimeter. Now go to sketching. Take rectangle. Draw a rectangle sketch and go to constraint. Take the symmetry. Make sure that the design sketch is symmetry to the XY plane. Now take the horizontal dimension as 1500 mm and vertical dimension as 300 mm. Once you complete it, click on generate. Now you have to extrude the drawn sketch. Click on apply. You have to extrude it in both the direction symmetrically. In direction, click on both symmetry. Keep the depth length as 750 mm. Click on generate. You will find the extruded part in both the side. Now go to draw. Click on rectangle again. Draw a rectangle inside the sketch. Click on generate. Once you generate, click on extrude again and you have to extrude it on both the side but here you have to cut the material as you have to create a hollow part in it. You can see the hollow part in the drawn sketch. Now you have to make the outer surface as thin part. So click on the outer face. Click on the outer face by holding the control button so that all the faces are been selected. Once you select all the faces, click on apply and generate. Now you can find the thin section. Now go to tools, take mid surface. Now click on the above surface and below surface of each face. Once you complete it, click on apply. And then generate. Now you have to take the ZX plane. Where you have to draw another rectangular part in it in ZX plane. Now go to sketching, take the rectangle. Take the dimension. Now go to constraint. Make sure the rectangle is symmetric to the X axis. Now take the vertical height as 500 millimeters. Once you complete it, click on generate and extrude. Now go to extrude. In operation, you have to slice the material. You have to do it in both the direction. Take the symmetric on both the sides. Once you complete it, click on generate.
now go to concept take line from edges first take two edges and click on apply once you complete it you have to click on generate now again go to concept take the line from edges click all the edges inside the rectangular torsion box click on apply generate now again go to concept take line from edges click on the remaining two edges apply generate Now go to concept in cross section take channel section take the w1 length as 25 mm w2 length as 25 mm and w3 length as 40 mm take all t1 t2 t3 length as 5 mm once you complete it click on generate now go to concept in cross section take z section take w1 length as 20 mm w2 length as 15 mm w3 length as 40 mm take t1 t2 t3 length as 4 mm each Click on generate. Now go to concept cross section. Now take T section. Take W1 length as 50 mm, W2 length as 40 mm. Take T1, T2 length as 5 mm each. Click on generate. Now you have to give the cross section for each line body for first two i will take as t1 as cross section and next four line body i will take as z1 as cross section and i will take last two line bodies and i will give the cross section as channel 1 means c1 After completing it, click on generate. Now go to create, click on body operations, select the all surface bodies and click on apply and then generate. You will find the single surface body and click all the nine parts and right click on it so that you can make it as single part now go to model click on mesh there click on uniform sizing yes so that you get you can get all the boxes uniformly it means structural grid now go to mesh editing take mesh connection group for master geometry you have to click on the face and apply in slab geometry you have to click on the edges of that geometry of that selected face after selecting click on apply
Now click on the manual mesh connection. Do the same as you done before. For master geometry click on the face, apply. For slab geometry click on the edges and apply. Do the same for remaining faces also. Once you complete it, go to static structural, there in supports, click on fixed support. Click on all the edges on one side so that you can take it as fixed support. After selecting, click on apply. Now go to loads, take the force, select the geometry, select the all the upper faces of the geometry and click on the apply. You have to select the force direction in y direction only so that you have to take the components separately in x y z direction for y component you have to take minus 5000 newtons as force acting downwards now go to solution take total deformation equivalent stress equivalent strain click on solve You can find the equivalent stress on the torsion box. Now it is the total deformation. You can do the stimulation, take it in 100 frames, click on play, you can see the deformation of the torsion box as the force applied in the y direction downwards. You can do the same thing for elastic strain or equivalent elastic strain you can see how the 
torsion boxes get deformed and same thing in equivalent stress thank you